So for this first example, I have the uh, integral of the quantity 3x plus 1, all of that to the square root 2 power, dx. And I'm thinking u sub as a strategy for this because of that square root 2 exponent. So that's where my thought process is there. So the u sub that makes sense to me is u equals 3x plus 1. So then du would equal 3dx. And then I can make that substitution. And I like to write it as 1 3rd du equals dx because that's how uh, it's easier for me to visualize. So then when I make this substitution, I get 1 3rd u to the square root 2 du. And now I can integrate, find the antiderivative. So the 1 3rd will just come out in front. The antiderivative of u to the square root 2, that's the square root 2 plus 1. So that'll be u square root 2 plus 1 all over square root 2 plus 1. And then this is a plus c. And then I'm going to bring back in what my u sub was. So I have 1 3rd times the quantity in the numerator is 3x plus 1 all to the square root 2 plus 1 power. All of that over square root 2 plus 1. And then I could bring the 3 into the denominator there, but I'm going to just leave it like this, plus my c. And there's my answer for this uh, integral. So again, the indicator to me that it might be a u sub is the actual uh, square root 2 exponent there.